The number of mortgage accounts with overdue payments increased by 800 in the past month. New figures from credit agency Centrix show there are now nearly 23,000 home loans in arrears. And as Zane Small reports, with less cash going around, more businesses are going under. Welcome to the O'Connors. Lisa and her husband have owned this West Auckland property for seven years, a family home for their sons. But the stress of rising interest rates is weighing heavy on the mum of two. I have been a regular at the food banks. Her home loan is split into different accounts, each with different interest rates, most of which have already gone up. Those repayments almost doubled. And next month, another is due to rise. Well, that's $60 a week that it's going up from next month. I don't know where that's coming from. If that wasn't stressful enough, last year Lisa forgot that a section of the mortgage was about to increase and so was put on a higher floating rate. Due to everything that was going on in our life and the mental load, I totally missed it and those payments tripled. New Centrix data shows the extent of mortgage stress. There are now 22,600 home loans with overdue payments, up 18% compared to the same time last year. It's no surprise to mortgage advisor Stephen Robinson. Costs are just adding up across pain at the pump, pain at the supermarket, now pain at the bank as well, so they need to find the money. New Zealand is in a recession, and remember it was orchestrated by the Reserve Bank by raising interest rates to cool inflation by reducing people's spending power. The impact is evident. Retail business liquidations were up 57% compared to the same time last year. Construction company liquidations up 21% and a 20% rise for hospitality. There are almost 30,000 registered hospitality businesses in New Zealand, making up about 4% of all companies. But with potential customers tightening their belts, the sector is struggling. 17 hospitality businesses filed for liquidation in February, up from 12 the month before. Stephen Robertson predicts the economic pain will start to improve next year. Hang on, and if you can get through the next 12 months, you will see lighter days. Hope on the horizon for homeowners like Lisa. Zane Small, News Hub.